This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence. I've been awake since 3 a.m., so we'll see how this one goes. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name's Bethany. I'm the girl behind Well Love Knits. And I warned you guys, after last week's video, we were gonna be diving into baby knits. And for this week's video, I would really like to share with you the lineup of patterns that I plan to knit my baby that's due later this year in September. Originally, this was going to be just a pattern lineup where I would share some things, some patterns that I have my eye on. Um, but I went shopping over the weekend at my local yarn store and what do you know, they were having a sale. It was meant to be. So I picked up quite a bit of yarn, so a lot more than I expected to. It was just so nice because I could go and I could see and feel uh, all of the yarn that they had available. So I came away with probably a lot more than I had anticipated. And it was really nice too because Roz was there and he was able to help me decide on color scheme. So as you can see, there's some yarn over here that I am going to share with you guys. What I think I'm gonna do is go through the list in group by designer. Um, it's a pretty narrow list of designers. <laughs> I have a very uh, strong love for petite knits patterns in particular. So uh, we'll probably be going through all of her patterns available. And then since I have a little bit of a haul to show, I'm going to share also the yarn that I have to knit those patterns with. Up front, I just wanna let you guys know that most if not all of these patterns come at a small fee. Uh, I will leave all the links to the patterns that I mentioned as well as the yarn that I'm gonna be talking about uh, in the description so you guys can check it out if you're interested. I do wanna do eventually one of the 15 free pattern roundups for baby knits in particular, but that's just not part of this video and it can be something that I share at a later date. So just so that you know, these patterns are mostly paid. Can you see my laptop? <laughs> so I've got a pretty long list here and I'm very excited to share all of it with you. Uh, but first I do wanna say a huge thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. This video is kindly brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform to build an online presence. Whether you wanna start creating and selling your own products, showcase a portfolio of your hard work, or just create a space unique to you and your life experiences, I would really recommend giving Squarespace a try. You can start by selecting from their wide range of beautiful templates, and then from there you can customize it as you need. Honestly, this is my favorite thing about Squarespace. You don't have to start from zero, and there's a lot of great inspiration to get you started. I started using Squarespace about a year ago to launch WellUpKnits.com. There I share knitting projects as well as a range of products available on my online shop. I found the platform to be so easy to use for someone like me who doesn't have much experience in web design. And with all that's available to you, it's really easy to update and maintain your site. If you're interested in giving Squarespace a try, check out Squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch your website, click my link in the description to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. So thanks again, Squarespace, and let's get into those patterns. First up, you can guess that I have quite a few petite knit patterns. Who doesn't have a couple of petite knit baby patterns saved in their to knit list? Uh, and I have quite a few that I wanna go through here. The first one that I wanna share with you is one that we've already kind of talked about. It was what I was knitting up in last week's video, the, the knit and chat where I shared the big news with you guys. And this is the Teddy Pants. And I just wanted to show you because it's something that I had already casted on and worked through. I made some pretty good progress since last video. As you can see here, this is where we're at. Um, so, Teddy Pants is kind of a weird name <laughs> for this pattern because I think a lot of you who weren't familiar with the pattern thought that I was actually making pants, but this is actually a full jumpsuit that is the most precious thing ever. Um, I'm really loving the results so far. I really love the color. It's definitely, um, I've gotten more confident in the selection of the red tone and I just think 
it's turning out to be a really, really nice piece. Uh, so right now I'm just at the point where I need to pick up for the ribbing. So that's why it's still active on the needles. I hadn't gotten around actually to casting off and I'm playing a pretty serious game of yarn chicken right here. So I'm using uh, Rowan Yarns Baby Cash Soft Merino. Is that right? Yes, that is what I'm using to knit this up. And this is all I have left <laughs> for the two armbands and Italian bind off. Do you think I can do it? <laughs> I really would hate to have to purchase another skein just to finish this. Um, we're getting dangerously close, but you know, it might actually go pretty far. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to continue to play the serious game of yarn chicken and we will see how, <laughs> how I go along with that. But this is the back and, uh, this is the front. And essentially what I am going to have to do is pick up stitches, like I said, for the armbands as well, and then add a couple little buttons up at the top. And I just think it's gonna be such a practical thing for baby to have. Uh, definitely very warm. One thing that I'm noticing is that the fabric that was created with the Rowan yarn is very thick, very heavy. I think it'll be great because I knit the one to two months, I believe that size, the second size of the pattern. And um, I think that'll be a good age range maybe for, for him to have something nice and thick. Um, I do know that babies tend to grow a lot quicker than we imagine. So I don't know if I'm going to be knitting up the one to two months very often. Most of the sizes that I plan on doing here on out is four to six months. And then maybe adding in a one year project here and there. We'll see how much I wanna plan ahead. But I will say at the very beginning that I'm really not too concerned with him not being able to wear it so, so much. I'm just interested in creating a handmade wardrobe for my baby. I'm definitely going to knit sizes so that he can wear it more than just once. And I don't want him to grow out of it too, too much. But I've gotten some advice saying that I shouldn't waste my time and knit underneath uh, one years old because they'll just grow out of it so fast. And all I have to say about that is I'm just excited about the process of knitting for a new newborn baby. And uh, I hope also to have more than just one baby, which is also why you might notice that the color palette is very soft and could be more neutral so that in the future, many multiple babies can have an opportunity to wear these pieces. That's just the hope anyway. So teddy pants, going really well. I think I can finish this today. Very excited to do so. I'm debating whether or not I want to put the face on, actually. I just really like how simple this, this piece is. I feel like, again, it's very practical, very versatile, so much that I'm gonna knit another one. So I picked up some yarn to knit another. And it is this Knitting for Olive Merino. So basically I have two yarns <laughs> to show you. Uh, that's a lie, but the yarn that I picked up from the local yarn store was either Knitting for Olive Merino or uh, Alongavec Anna Superwash Merino. Here are the skeins for the Teddy pants. So I would like to knit up one in a soft gray. One of you, uh, we were messaging back and forth and she knit up Sorry, I don't remember your handle name at the, off the top of my head, but she was knitting up some very, very cute teddy pants in a really soft gray. And I was just like, I need to make a pair like that too. So she definitely inspired me. And this is the yarn that I decided for the teddy pants. So this is the pearl gray colorway of the Merino from Knitting for Olive. And I think it's going to be very, very lovely. I've seen a lot of baby clothes knit up in Knitting for Olive Merino. I know that this isn't really super wash, so I'm going to have to be pretty gentle with it. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I've decided I'm okay with that. I went overboard 
and I bought a lot of knitting for Olive Merino and I'm just going to have to live with the fact that it might be a little bit more challenging to uh, care for it, but it's worth it in my opinion. So Teddy Pants will be knit with these three skeins. I think I'm going to knit mm, the third size up of the Teddy Pants. So that would be three to four months. Like I said, I would stick around the four month range for a lot of these projects. So the next pattern I'm very excited to knit up and I've had on my list for a very long time from Petite Knit is the Selma Sleep Suit. This is essentially just a garter stitch suit that you put baby in. Uh, I think it's supposed to be something kind of similar to outerwear, keep them nice and warm. And I just, I really love this type of garment for babies. We actually got a gift from a friend who gave us one that was store-bought and I'm absolutely in love with it. And I know that I wanted to make a handmade one. It just strengthened my need to make one for myself, for him. I was gifted this yarn right here by my grandma uh, a couple of years ago. And my grandma has never knit but she has a lot of children and one of them has knit before. So she found this yarn at her house. I don't even know. Well, it's unidentified. It didn't come with a label or anything like that. I don't even know how old this is. This could be potentially very, very old, decades old yarn. I don't know, but uh, it's a lot here. As you can imagine, when I got this, I was like, I don't know <laughs> what I'm gonna use to uh, use this for. What am I gonna knit up with this? Um, and I gave some thought to it when I first got it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna hold on to this and I think this would be a really fun thing to knit up for like a baby item. That was like the first thing that kind of came to my mind. So I've just been holding on to it because I knew one day I would eventually have a baby and today is that day. So uh, this yarn right here, I feel like it seems like it's 100% wool and I feel like it would work really well for that outerwear type piece. And the Selma sleep suit really is the first thing that I can really just see this yarn becoming that project. So I'm very excited to try and knit it up. I don't know how much yarn is here, uh, really have no clue at all. And I also don't know if this yarn would fit gauge for the Selma sleep suit, but I think I'm just gonna try and force it and either knit a size up, size down my needles, do something to kind of make it so that it can become this sleep suit. I think it would be really nice. But you can see it's just a nice cream color and it, it does kind of look like it would make it kind of similar to the sample that she has for the pattern. So I'm very excited to knit this one up. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> that will definitely be a project, but yeah, like I was saying uh, in one of my past videos, this would just be really nice to have, a really great memory to have as well. Um, to knit something up and kind of keep it in the family, it'd be a nice heirloom piece in my opinion, um, with many babies being able to wear it, that would be very, very special to me. So that is what I want to do with it. And it'd be nice to get this out of the stash because this is like, this is a really weird uh, Hank skein uh, of yarn, so. It will, it will be nice to get some use out of it. So thank you, Mima, for sharing that with me. <laughs> okay, so the next pattern that I would really like to knit is actually a set. It's a two-piece set. Uh, it's the Seaside set, <laughs> which you might be familiar with if you're on Instagram for any degree and you follow Petite Knit and you've seen anybody knit a baby pattern. I feel like this one is very, very popular and rightly so, it is absolutely beautiful. I didn't actually know that it was a set. I knew about the sweater. I've seen a lot of people knit sweaters, um, the seaside sweater, but not so much the pants. So I was really excited that this is a two piece pattern because I just love the idea of a lot of knit pants. <laughs> that's like my, I'm, that's just a piece of clothing that I'm just so excited about, little pants. Anyway, so the seaside set is really cute. It's uh, got like some sailor stripes on it and a couple of little buttons so that you can easily open it up and pop their little head through and get them into the cute little outfit. 
I've seen a lot of different knitters knit this one up and I don't want to be any exception. I definitely want to knit this piece. And what I decided it was very difficult to decide actually. So here is the combination that I think I've decided on for the seaside set. These two right here would be the top and then I'd have this little brown color for the pants, which I think would be absolutely perfect. Uh, I really love these two together. I really love how soft they are. Knitting for Olive, that is probably why I walked away with so much of their yarn. They really do, they have some loud colors, don't get me wrong, but they do, they're, they have nice muted shades as well. And I'm not somebody who's really into a lot of pastel. You know that I'm more of an earthy tone type person. I do like darker shades, especially on myself, but for a baby, that's just not exactly, uh, I don't know. It, we need something light. We need something soft and uh, muted. And I think these colors right here are absolutely gorgeous. And for the top, it will be really, really sweet. So I haven't really decided what the scheme is going to be. If I have the brown pants, I'm thinking, I'm kind of leaning towards the top being mainly blue and then having brown stripes as like a little bit of an accent to kind of tie everything together. Um, but then I might just change my mind and make brown the main color way. We'll see. But um, this is something that I think it's not going to be one of the first things that I cast on. So I definitely have uh, some time to kind of like mull it over, but the color combination I'm very, very excited with. Uh, and all I need now is just some buttons, but that's like the final touch. So I'm very excited to knit up that seaside set. I think it's gonna be just the most precious thing ever. <laughs> so for the last two patterns that I have on my list from Petite Knit, I want to add some texture into baby's wardrobe. Unfortunately, I don't have the yarn here with me. It's literally waiting for me at the uh, mail pickup point, <laughs> which is a shame, <laughs> but I will insert some B-roll here of the yarn that I'm going to be talking about. So um, two, more patterns from Petite Knit. The first one being Carl's Cardigan, which is actually an older pattern of Petite Knit that I kind of stumbled upon. And it really reminds me of the Jenny jacket. Is that right? Yes, the Jenny jacket with, you know, the, the cross um, detail, the smocking stitch detail. Uh, it looks very similar to that. And if I do ever get around to knitting that, it would be really cute to, or knitting that for myself, it would be very cute to have a little matching uh, thing for him. So I actually went with the recommended yarn for the pattern, which is Alpaca Ool from Sennesgarn. I'm hoping that it will be a nice <laughs> yarn. I, I haven't touched it, I haven't felt it. It did look really nice. I went for a nice taupe color to kind of, since it is a cardigan, to go with as many things as possible. And I think having some texture will be a lot of fun to knit up. So this pattern, as well as the next one, they're going to be a little bit more active for my brain and a lot of fun to knit. And the second one is the Ingrid Sweater Baby by Petite Knit. This is not even out yet, <laughs> but uh, Petite Knit actually put a picture on Instagram of her working on the Ingrid sweater baby version. And she shared how much yarn she would need for the size that she was making. And I immediately decided, okay, I'm going to knit this one up <laughs> and I'm going to get the yarn so that I am ready for when the pattern releases. The Ingrid sweater is definitely very, very popular. I'm not one of those people who fell in love with it initially. I think it's a beautiful sweater, but it was never one of those things that I actually wanted to cast on as soon as I saw it. I wasn't really anticipating for the pattern. And I think it's probably just because I knew it was going to be such a complex sweater. And I always debate whether or not that's something that I actually will enjoy as a knitter because I do really like simple stitches. I use knitting as kind of like a mindless activity. That's really huge to me. So I, I wasn't really on the Ingrid sweater bandwagon, but of course, when I saw it in a baby version, I was just like, well, this could be a lot of fun to knit with all of this texture. I love a lot of texture. You guys know that. Um, I'm intrigued by it, let's say. Yeah, I just thought that if 
I were to knit this type of sweater, a baby version would be a lot of fun. So I'm getting it in this nice cream color. So the yarn that's recommended is the Sunday by Senda's Garn. And I got it in a nice cream color. I think it's very similar to the, the yarn that she is actually using for her baby's sweater. And I'm very excited and I think it'll be very cute. So what I'm thinking is knitting it around the four to six month time frame. I think that'll be a really good time to have such a sweater. Uh, maybe he'll be able to kind of swim in it for Christmas and then for January, February, it will um, be peak sweater time. So definitely when that's like the time frame when I would get probably the most wear out of it for his first couple of months. All right, so moving on to another designer, uh, another brand, Rowan Yarn. So I've been working with their uh, baby cash soft merino, the yarn that they have, but I also want to knit a pattern by Rowan as well. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you might recognize this book right here. Uh, last year, I went to visit my family in South Carolina in the US and we took a day trip down to Savannah, Georgia. I'd never been there before, so I definitely wanted to scope out any of the yarn stores that were there. And I managed to find a couple, one of which had this book. Actually, it was on the display. The first thing that you saw when you walked in <laughs> to the door was this pattern book, as well as little sample knits from the book. And it was these pants and this little shirt right here. And I just remember my mom kind of losing it over the pants. She thought these were the funniest things ever because they were just so wide to fit a little diaper. She thought that they were hilarious. And I don't know, I just, I loved the concept of this book because it's 11 patterns for both mom who's expecting as well as for baby when baby eventually arrives. I would love to knit myself some of the patterns that are in here, but I think that kind of time frame is just, sailed, I will not be able to finish them before they be become obsolete for me, I guess. I think I'll finish them after delivery at this point. So anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there, but it's a really interesting one to kind of flip through. And the main pattern that I think I'm going to go for are the little pants. So these are the what are they called? These pants right here are called the snuggle pants and I'm definitely going to knit them up. I just think my mom will get a huge kick out of them and find them so cute and I will too. If I remember them correctly, they were just the most adorable things ever. And like I was mentioning in the last video, I, and this video, I'm very interested in knitting pants. <laughs> I, I just love the idea of having a lot of knit pants, especially knit sweatpants and this kind of gives that vibe. They kind of look like sweatpants to me. So what I picked up to knit these up, uh, it's a different yarn, not knitting for Olive. <laughs> uh, it's a Langevec Anna. Uh, I'm really, really interested to try out her yarn. I think she just recently released this yarn collection and she's been slowly adding many different new colorways to the collection. Uh, and this nice light gray, the Louvre colorway, I think is really, really beautiful and would be perfect for little baby sweatpants. Um, this is a super wash yarn, so it's gonna be a little bit easier to care for. Um, and I'm really excited to work this one up because again, I've just been seeing it and I haven't been able to get my hands on it, but luckily my local yarn store is a Supplier, it's very, very soft to the touch and I think it's gonna produce a really nice fabric, which I'm very excited about. So I think these would be nice flexible pants, uh, perfect for baby's wiggling legs. Of course, since I went crazy with the Knitting for Olive, I have found a couple of patterns by Knitting for Olive that I'm very interested in knitting up as well. So the challenge here for me is that Knitting for Olive has a lot of more feminine patterns for babies. Uh, a little bit more embellished than what I'm personally looking for. I think my style is very much sleek um, and I want to impart that on baby <laughs> as well. Uh, sleek, minimal, uh, for the most part, adding a couple of things here and there. Um, but like clean lines are something that really attracts me. Those are the types of patterns that I'm kind of gravitating towards. So, but I did manage to find 
two patterns by Knitting for Olive that I really would like to knit up. And the first one is Olive's jumpsuit, which is this really, really cute, simple long sleeve jumpsuit uh, that has these really cute stripes on them. And I really love that. I, I love the sample, the way that it looks. Uh, it's knit with this uh, light cream as well as the navy blue. I do feel though that the navy blue is just a little too dark. Um, for what I wanted to knit up. I'm kind of just, again, trying to go for something a little bit softer. Certainly have a lot of navy, I'm sure, to come for baby's wardrobe, but for me, what I wanted to knit up, um, I found something a little bit nicer. So here is the yarn combination that I'm going for. So I really love this combination. I think it's gonna be really, really nice, a little bit lighter than the navy. I think that will be lovely. I'm actually mixing two yarns uh, for this project, Knitting for Olive on the cream. And then for this steel blue, I'm going to do a Long Avec Anna. This is the Celadon colorway. And this is Cream by Knitting for Olive. I was pleasantly surprised to find out that the gauge is the same for these yarns. The meterage is a little bit different. There's a little bit less in the a Long Avec Anna skein. But that's gonna be okay. We'll see how much yarn chicken I end up playing. And I think that this combination is going to look really nice as Olive's jumpsuit. I'm planning on knitting, I think the six month size, uh, which calls for two skeins of each color. So I have just that right here and I'm excited to knit that one up. I think it'll be really, really cute. And of course, uh, a lot of you commented on the last video saying that you loved the Baby Bear Bonnet by Knitting for Olive. And I had a look at it and I couldn't agree more. <laughs> um, I am a little bit on the fence about bonnets. I'm just not sure about them. If that's something that I would want to knit a lot of for, for baby, but uh, I think one couldn't hurt. And it would be nice to have something, uh, especially when he's very little uh, if we ever, you know, take him outside in the colder months, I think it will be important to make sure that his head is nice and snug and nice and warm. So the baby bear bonnet is definitely on my list. And of course I picked up one more of the brown nougat colorway. I think this is gonna be an absolute beautiful baby bear bonnet. <laughs> and then with the seaside set, I think it would just look super duper cute all together. If I do end up deciding that I like bonnets, I think that pattern will also be pretty easy to modify so that I don't have the, the bare ears. Um, I'm hoping, again, I don't really know too much about bonnets and I'm still trying to make up my mind about them, but for now, uh, one project. I'll start with one and see how it goes. I do have one unplanned skein here. I picked it up just because I really liked the color. This is marzipan in the Knitting for Olive Merino. Uh, it's just a really nice taupey color. It's not quite cream. It's not quite beige tan. Uh, it's just kind of in the middle and I thought it was really lovely. So an honorable mention, let's say, <laughs> is the Friday sweater by Petite Knit. And why is it a honorable mention? Well, mainly because I've really enjoyed when I see those sweaters being knit up. Traditionally, it is just two different colors. You have your main color, which I've seen mainly in a cream, and then your contrasting color would be a solid color. I think the sample for the baby is even knit in red, as well as the sample for adults. I like both of them. I think it looks really nice, but the ones that I really enjoy the most, the Friday sweaters that I've seen, are ones that kind of incorporate scraps because they're, especially for babies, it's just so little yarn that is needed for those stripes. And I've seen some really beautiful ones with multi-colored stripes. And I think that would be such a cute way to use up any scraps that I might have left over. If I do have any scraps left over, I'm really loving this entire color palette together. I think it all works really nice all of these tones. So I would be really interested, if possible, to knit up a Friday sweater with any of the scraps from these projects that I decide to work up. 
Um, so we'll see about that. That's just kind of something that I'm thinking on. There are definitely other honorable mentions, but I feel like this video is already getting so, so long. So I think I'm gonna just leave that there for now. <laughs> and uh, I'll actually add some other links for honorable mentions in the description so you guys can definitely check those out if you're interested as well. Safe to say that I'm pretty committed to knitting all of these at some point in time because I did purchase the yarn for them. I mean, I'm sure I could find another project for this yarn if it doesn't go to the projects that I'm intending. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I'm really determined to knit all of these things. I would really love to have, like I said, a full handmade wardrobe for baby in the first couple of months of his life. Uh, and then just continue to add on to that as he grows. I'm very excited to do that. Um, but we'll see how fast my hands work. We know that uh, historically I am very much, I have eyes bigger than my stomach or let's say more hands than I actually have in my head. I don't know, what's like the knitting analogy for that? Um, basically I bite off a little bit more than I can chew uh, or plan a little bit more than I can actually knit up. Uh, so we'll see. Talk to me in a couple of months. We'll see how uh, I'm feeling about the ability for me to knit all of this up. But enthusiasm is what matters, I think, here. <laughs> but anyway, it's not like I can never knit these things while he is also here. We're just, I'm not limiting myself to have to get this all done before he arrives, but it is nice to kind of plan and have the yarn on hand so then whenever inspiration strikes, I can already get started. So that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go finish up these teddy pants now. I think that it would be nice to get at least one off the needles and have my first FO for his handmade wardrobe. So I'm gonna go do that. I wanna say a huge thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And thank you guys so much for supporting brands that support this channel. And thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a like and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already to stick around. I would love to have you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.